It was March 1959. The world's best hockey teams were in Prague, Czechoslovakia for the World Hockey Championships. Canada's hopes rested with these men, the Balvo McFarlands, a group of local farm boys, promising rookies and hardened hockey veterans. They were called the McFarlands after the team owner, H.J. McFarland, a wealthy industrialist from Picton. The McFarlands were the Canadian champs after winning the Allen Cup in a hard-fought series the previous year against the Kelowna Packers. The McFarlands played a grueling exhibition series across Europe before the start of the World Cup. It was designed to raise money for their trip, but it left them tired and banged up even before they faced their fierce opponents, including the mighty Russians. Still, they scored decisive victories using their speed, skills, and roughhouse play to dominate opposing teams. The exhausted McFarlands lost their last game against the Czechs 5-3. It was their only defeat. But the loss was meaningless. Their gritty play had already clinched the world title. And when they returned home, Balwell went crazy. It was one of the greatest moments in the history of the city. <laughs>